Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, we hear about preparations for the Battle of the Somme. In preparation for the Somme Offensive, British troops were redeployed south from Ypres and Arras. Don Murray was born in Bradford in 1893 into a working-class family of six children. He vividly remembered the end of the South African War and seeing returning soldiers being given a hero's welcome. When Britain declared war in August 1914, Don decided to join up. He and his fellow apprentices went straight to the recruiting office and enlisted as a group in the King's own Yorkshire Light Infantry. Don arrived in France in May 1915. His battalion went over the top on the first day of the Somme, and by the end of the morning, Don was one of the few men who had not been wounded. Don went on to see service in Italy before returning home to Bradford. In December 1973, aged 80, he was interviewed by the Imperial War Museum. He recalled the build-up to the offensive. We went further down the line, further and further, until eventually, in early 1916, we took over from the French on the Somme. We didn't realise then what was in the offing, but we soon learned because we started making preparations, bringing up gas cylinders and preparing for a really big affair. In May, they took us from the line, back about 10 kilometres right away from the fighting, and there they had the whole front mapped out an exact replica of the German line with little flags, and we started practising for this big attack that was to come. In the meantime, there was this constant procession of guns, guns, guns going up. Instead of the big guns that used to lie miles back, they were bringing them right up to the front. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, we hear how the soldiers kept an eye on the Germans.